Hello folks, I hope you turned into the first video and heard uh, the message on Psalm 23. And I found that in the time and place that we're living right now, with being stuck at home, unable to be around our friends and our church family, that it's very important for us to figure out ways to do things that we love to do, do things that are interesting to us, do things that help us to take our mind off of some of the uh, events that are going on in the world. And honestly, it was pretty interesting that this came to fruition because it's an idea I've had for months and months and months, and up until this point, hadn't had time to get everything together to execute it and try to, uh, try to do this on a fairly regular basis. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do an acrylic pour painting, something that I worked on a while back for a sermon. I really enjoyed doing it, and um, we've done it with the youth of this church. I've done it with uh, folks at nursing homes. It's a really, really neat thing that almost anybody can do if it's something they have a desire to. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a color palette out of the 23rd Psalm. So in the 23rd Psalm, we have the Valley of the Shadow, which would be represented here by black. We have green pastures, which we have kind of a light green here that'll represent the green pastures. We have still waters, which I found a really neat metallic blue that I like that's gonna represent the still waters. And then whenever I think of this psalm, I always think about the sky, a beautiful kind of light blue sort of idea of the sky and or um, kind of a, a combined with some of the white that we'll also be using. It just, uh, I think, when I come and I meditate and I think about the 23rd Psalm, I look at it from the context of laying in beautiful green grass with the sounds of this water in a, in a creek or, or a stream going by, and then the beautiful sky and clouds that I can look at. That's my view. That's kind of how I uh, like to think about it. So that's the inspiration for the color palette that I've chosen to use today for this pour painting. Another interesting thing about the colors in the 23rd Psalm is that biblically colors mean things. And if you pay attention and you look, you can get some different inspiration out of those. For example, the black we talked about, the darkness of the valley of the shadow, the green pastures. Green typically stands for life, everlasting life. If uh, That's one of the interpretations about the Christmas tree. It stands for everlasting life. So green always represents life. Blue actually represents a couple different things. Blue represents the knowledge of the Bible as well as it represents heaven. And uh, it is one of the things that uh, also you see pop up as a reference for uh, the Exodus when Moses goes up on, onto the mount and he's up in the sky with the beautiful blue of the sky as, as he speaks with God. That's another place where you see the idea of blue coming up as a definition for heaven or the sky or a closeness to God. So I think that's kind of cool. And of course, white is Jesus, and it is uh, the ability of Jesus to be pure, to be perfect, to, to be clean, and to provide us with cleanliness, and to provide us with purity as well if we allow him into our hearts and allow him to be a part of our lives. So what we're gonna do here is, for a poor painting, a lot of times you need a base color. And I think it's appropriate as we talk about the 23rd Psalm that the base color for this particular painting has to be white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this white and we're just gonna stir it up a little bit here and then we're gonna pour this white into the cup. And I'm gonna do a little, about like that, just to kinda get a, a, a good base there. So then what we do next is we're gonna mix various colors in and I think I like green next. So what we'll do is we'll stir that up a little and we'll pour in, pour in a decent little little blurb of green. I think let's go with some of the light blue next. So we'll go ahead and layer some of that light blue into the cup. I'm gonna go with this really neat kind of darker metallic blue. We'll get a little of that in there. 
And then because we're talking about the valley of shadow, we're gonna to toss just a teeny bit of black in here to represent that. So what we'll do then is we'll take a little bit more white, kind of layer that in there. And then we'll just repeat the colors that we did before. We'll take some more green. Some more of the light blue. Some more of the metallic blue. Little bit of black. And then we'll add just a little bit more of the white on top of the black. Good symmetry, Jesus uh, bringing light into, into darkness there as far as the psalm is concerned. So we have the colors in the cup, and now comes the fun part. We're going to do what's called a flip cup. We're going to take the cup like this, we're going to put it on the canvas, and we're going to flip it over. There are a lot of different ways people do this. You can lift the cup up if you want to, to let the, uh, to let the paint out. I like to use a knife and cut a hole in the top of the cup and allow the air to come in because I feel like I get better results that way. So we're just gonna kind of push a little bit here and try to see if we can just poke a small little hole in this cup here, like so. And then we will pull that out. And as you can see, the paint's now kind of coming out of the cup as the air comes in. And we'll lift the cup up. All right. So, now that we have the paint on the canvas, it's pretty neat. We can see a pretty good, uh, a pretty good mixing of the blues and the greens and the whites. So what we do next is, and I think this can be a good metaphor for, for us in terms of our faith, is we're gonna move this around on the canvas a little bit. I think that's kind of sometimes what God does with us in our lives, moves us around on the canvas a little bit to kind of put us in a position to, uh, to, to do what he needs us to. And what I'm going to do is if I see a place that maybe I think has less interest in terms of how the paint is there, I'm going to go ahead and kind of run it off the side of the canvas and kind of move the paint around to get it to kind of look like I want. One of the really important things here is to make sure we get the corners covered while we're doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull this down here a little bit, get the corner. All right. So I kind of like this darker blue here up at the top of the canvas. And I'm gonna see if I can kind of pull that out a little bit here. Sorry, I realize you guys can't see me kind of stretching that this way. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right, one of the other neat things that you can do with a painting like this is you can use a torch on it. And sometimes that torch really brings things out, I think biblically of the idea of a refiner's fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a little torch I have here and we'll see if uh, different things come out in the paint as we go over it. Apologize for the sound. So what we've done is, in the paint that I mixed, I put some silicone. 
And in the silicone, we basically have um, air bubbles that the silicone creates as we pour it out onto the canvas. When we use the fire, it basically pops air bubbles and it lets us see various things that we couldn't see before. And I'm gonna kind of try to tilt this towards you guys a little bit and see if you can kind of get a clear look at what some of that did if I can keep from running the paint off the canvas that way. So I think this is a pretty neat little experiment with how we can take a piece of scripture, something that we find to be inspirational to us, then take something that we love to do and something we really enjoy and something that brings us happiness, take those two things and combine them into a project that not only takes our mind off of everything that's going on, but also allows us to meditate on, on a scripture. So depending on how much you guys like this on YouTube and Facebook, it might be something that I'll do as a devotional every now and again, just to kind of do something a little bit different than, we, uh, than we've done thus far on a Sunday. So I appreciate Appreciate you guys tuning in to uh, the video. If you didn't see the uh, first video, it has uh, more of a sermon, a message, a story, a song, and some prayer as well. And this also uh, will then follow that up and, and work with the scripture that we talked about earlier. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did setting it up and doing it for you. And uh, hopefully we'll put up some others in the near future. God bless and I'll talk to you soon.